Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of my La Liga jersey review. Um, as I mentioned last time we have here the my La Liga jerseys hanging and I decided this year around I'm gonna wear the national team jerseys for my uh, La Liga uh, for my jersey reviews of the leagues and have the teams represented here in the back because that way I'm gonna be a little bit more neutral if you like. Anyway knows what am I Anyone who follows this channel knows who are my favorite teams in La Liga, so it's not a big surprise. Now in the second part, we of course have the big seeded team, is the second place team from last season, which no, it's not Real Madrid, it's Atletico Madrid. And if we look at the preseason and so on, Atletico Madrid might well be one of the favorites uh, this year round and if they would win this one they would do this in style. The new Atletico Madrid jersey is a joy to watch after all the crazy jerseys that they had the last two seasons. Uh, maybe in the last three seasons. I mean this one here that I have also despite it being strapped the straps are getting uh, wider towards the middle and thinner towards the end so it's I'm so happy to see finally a classically striped Atletico Madrid jersey. Um, even down to the sleeves. Striped sleeves, it can be done even within the Nike template. Absolutely gorgeous jersey. There's only one, one minor uh, complaint that is that due to the stripes on the sleeves and the raglan style you see this stripe coming up all the way on the back and so on the back it looks like you have this uh, horizontal straight stripe above the red field which also is not entirely my favorite. So that's the only real complaint. I like the taping in navy, maybe could have been red, Spanish flag on there. You really cannot go wrong with this one. Um, well, maybe if there was a new crest on it, uh, uh, the old crest on it, but you know, the new one, except for uh, the everything being monochromatic on the bare side, if that was a little bit more in color, I would be all right with that one. Um, this is one of the best jerseys this season, I gotta say. And yeah, I'm gonna go with, so far, I'm gonna go with 10 stars here. Even with the weird stuff. Nah, let's do nine. I think a nine is more appropriate, but it's a really, really nice one. The V jersey, um, maybe not as creative. Black with red accents. That is monochromatic crest. Nothing too exciting, but also nothing too bad, to be honest with you. So, you know, I can live with all of that. Um, middle of the park. Uh, I think it's a decent away jersey, it provides the contrast, um, it looks strong, but it's also nothing special. I'm gonna give this six stars. And then uh, there is a third jersey in the making, um, not 100% confirmed, which will have the old-style Nike collar. Yes, when Nike came about in the mid-90s, this was the type of collar they had. And they're gonna revive this here. Again, old Nike logo. Uh, we have a light blue jersey. I'm trying to figure out what the pattern is. It's kind of some striped pattern, looks swirly striped, looks a little bit weird. Um, but full color crest. That looks definitely nice on that one, pops nicely. Um, the rest is kind of a little bit nondescript. So again, I would say this is a five star jersey. The next team is another second team from its city. And we have a third, a third one that is considered a second team as well, which is Betis Sevilla, if we are looking at now. And they are supplied by Kappa. And after the great jersey last year, they don't let up much. This is still a great jersey. Uh, very thin stripes. I love the collar. This rugby style collar is really great looking. Uh, even the sleeves, uh, despite not being 100% uh, striped, there is some striping on the top. It's just uh, the green underarms. And it's maybe a little bit of mismatch because you have the um, shoulders in green and then you have green underarms. That's maybe the only thing that's not quite working here. Of course, uh, there is a sponsor, Green Earth, that will come on there. You see it in this picture here. And there's the green back, which, yeah, I'm not too cra crazy about, but overall a really strong effort. Also, look at the couple logos on, on the side. Might be a little bit overkill, but I think overall I'm okay with it. 
really nice jersey. I'm not sure if I should go with that, but I give this uh, also a nine stars. Uh, it's a strong look, one that I hope to see a lot. Uh, the Avenger is similar to Atletico Madrid. I mean, those are really copying each other, just using their club colors. Uh, we have a black jersey with green accents. Nothing crazy. It looks all right. Is it the best jersey ever? No, it's more or less your standard black jersey. So a little bit nondescript. I'm going to give this six stars because I like the sleeve cuffs in white and green to get a little bit in there. I really want a couldn't the club crests at least have not black stripes but white stripes. I think this would may have made it a little bit uh, better, but yeah. Also don't like the color, the V doesn't go around. But look, it's all right overall. And for the third kit, we already had a crazy third kit last year, and this one kind of follows suit, except that it doesn't use any of the club's colors. It uses everyone's favorite third color, light pink, with a forest green uh, off-center stripe and then the um, crest also in light pink. And then you have this triangle pattern that reminds me of the Puked Paya Spain 2016 away jersey. Also we had those triangles in the away jersey last year. So yeah, a lot of crazy stuff going on. The colors, yes, it's the third kit. So I can understand a little bit, but honestly, no. Honestly, no. If the green was a brighter green, I think I, I I could see an argument of giving it something better, but it's just trying too much and achieving too little. Four stars. Next up, that's the third, <laughs> the third second team of its city, Espanyol Barcelona. And this was already debuted uh, at the last home game last season. I think it was was it against Sevilla. So I. I don't know, but this was, uh, I've seen this already last season. And supplied by Kelme, I honestly don't like it as much as last year's, but I do like quite some things in there. You have the white center stripe, that's maybe a little bit too white. I mean, I like my stripes a little bit more evenly, but this is like this Atletico um, Madrid kit here, except even more uh, prominent. You have the white center stripe, then the next one's a little bit less, and then you have uh, thin ones. Um, at least the sleeves are also kind of strapped. The collar is a little bit thick to my liking. The sponsor though is awesome. I, really, I would love to have a Riviera Maya at, um, Espanol jersey. Uh, then there are also all kinds of numbers in there that I think celebrate um, some cup wins for Espanol or something like that. I see a 1940, I see an RC, RCD Espanol 1929. Maybe uh, here they celebrate all the titles at Espanol and I think the only one Copa del Rey. I think Espanol never were champions. And yeah, nice touch to add to his jersey. Gives it a little bit more to look at. Um, the Kelmepa, of course, is also iconic. I would still give this uh, seven stars. And then uh, we have the two alternate jerseys. Um, yeah, <laughs> similar to the bait this way. We have the away jersey, uh, the forest green one. That one I actually don't mind. It's forest green, it makes a nice uh, contrast. And then you have the blue and the white band behind the crest. The only question that I have is why is the blue thinner than the white? But overall, I think it looks all right. Um, it's a workable away jersey and for that reason I'm gonna give this also um, seven stars. Now the third kit, again we needed to get some pink in there. Uh, light pink with white and then like is this a navy blue on the bottom? At least you have a full colored crest. It just seems a little bit misplaced. Look at how the white stripe, it could be a little bit higher to encompass the sponsor better. This will the sponsor a little bit going above the stripe. Um, there could be some work done. I like the blue and the white sleeve curves, but it doesn't connect with the rest of the jersey at all. It's a little bit messy, and for that I'm gonna give this four stars only. Okay, two more teams to go. We go to Levante. Again, Macron and last year's Le Levante kits were just outstanding. This one looks similar to last year's Levante uh, home kit, except that now the red stripe 
uses the Nike electricity pattern all over and honestly it makes for a worse jersey. I love the color, love the sleeves, love the red on the sleeve cuffs. Give me solid stripes here. Don't make this uh, white noise pattern or whatever this is supposed to be like what PSG had last season. Doesn't look all that great to be honest and for that reason I can only give this um, yeah, seven stars. Let's stick with seven stars here. Um, the away jersey is unfortunately not black and white like last year's, but instead of blue and white, but looks a whole lot better. It is very, very classy. I love the color and with the inset, the triangle, the inset very deep going down uh, and also kind of a flat shirt color so that is really nice looking um, the striping is also continued on the sleeves there's even red to go to the club colors i think is a very workable away kit uh, maybe a tad too much blue but I, st I still think it works quite fine this is definitely better than home home jersey i'm gonna give this um yeah i'm gonna give this nine stars the third kit though yeah Gray, maybe they will call it silver with uh, blue and red accents, namely on the collar and on the sleeve cuffs. Looks all right, but doesn't excite me a whole lot. Um, that's definitely the worst of the bunch, and I'm gonna give this only a five star rating. And that leaves us with a newly promoted side, um, Osasuna, seemingly. Hummel wants to pick up only promoted teams because last year they had Valladolid, who remained up there, now with Adidas. Now they have now we have Hummer here. Um, pretty decent jerseys, I would say. Uh, red with the uh, blue raglan sleeves and the Hummel chevrons. That I like. I like the color uh, in every regard. I do not like that the sponsor has no connection whatsoever with the rest of the jersey. Uh, that puts it down a few notches, but overall I think it's a workable kit uh, that I would give. Yeah, as an Osasuna kit, I have not much in mind for Osasuna, but I think I like the overall look, especially that the shoulders, this, uh, the raglan sleeves are accentuated with the dark blue, uh, navy blue. I'm gonna give this, yeah, seven stars, and it's only because of the sponsor that just doesn't fit very well. Uh, the away jersey is a little bit more adventurous, but actually interesting. It has this kind of turquoise tealish color and then some darker green uh, band going here. And look how this connects up with the color. Then you have this white uh, diamond incident on the front. I think this is quite interesting. You have, of course, the chevrons uh, and the club crest is monochromatic. Overall, I think a decent look, but again, um, if you look at the um, club's colors, there's not too much connection there. And for that reason, I only give this six stars. Well, that finishes part two of my La Liga jersey review. Stay tuned, let me know what you uh, think about all these jerseys, whether you agree or disagree with my ratings. Uh, drop me a comment below, I definitely want to hear from you as well. And yeah, we will have with part, we'll continue with part three soon. And up until then, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists uh, that you might give interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel to give you all the updates, all the things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, have a great day.